So we are going to open up Notepad++, which is free, you can Google that, and we're going to start into how to set up a basic website. Um, just kind of the structure and how to enter a few things and kind of best pro approaches and a few explanation bits that you don't always find um, readily available online without really knowing what to look for. So first things first is we need to, this is going to be our index.html or our home page that has our web content on it. So we need to declare to this document what type it is. So we're saying that this document is an HTML document. And then we, we put a tag in there which is called a head tag and essentially if you're on any you know Google page or what have you and you press F12 if you're in Chrome and it brings up the developer tools, we'll do this quickly. Um, so here I'll just Google something sweet. So Google's popped up with anything to do with car. If I press F12, um, you can see that these, this head tag here shows up pretty quickly. And this has a heap of different content in here. And normally when it pops out, there's all this other scripting and other gibberish and what have you in here that you're not sure what's going on. But again, Google's pretty full on. They do uh, a lot of stuff. It's not a kind of just a standard website, if you will. Um, so in here, this is what I refer to as the invisible content. So what we're going to put in here is just uh, title tags. This um, goes in your web tab. So this is what you see up in your web tab. So when if I open up a, if I when we get this up and running and launching, and we have a little tab like this, but in the web browser, this line here will be put there. So this is where a company will say the company name or something like that. Or, you can put my website, whatever. Right, next thing is, I don't really believe in teaching you guys an internal style sheet. A style sheet is where you stylize the content. So if I was to write a word in my document, and I wanted the word to have a certain font and color and all that kind of stuff, that's to style it, yeah? So we want to style it, not inside this page. We want to do a separate document, so that way we could have several pages to our web page and it's all got the same styling from a set and using that same separate document that's called an external style sheet so we're going to go open your bracket link so making a link and the relationship of that link because that's what really stands for equals speech mark it's going to be a style sheet or one word or lowercase we're going to make a hyperlink reference it's because we're going to open another we're referencing it to another document speech marks and we're going to call this styles so this is styles.css because it's the name of the file and the file type and then close that bracket so essentially here we're saying open this file well we haven't made that file so we're going to make it a sec um, and we'll make that now and just a reminder that we are, when you normally when you start a title tag like this you need to close it so just think open close open oh I didn't close my head tag properly close there you go see even I make mistakes so we're going to make a new tab, and here this is going to be the start of our style sheet. So HTML is obviously the whole web page. So we're going to do background, oops, background dash color, spell American. So that's um that's on purpose, and we just use a standard color that I know is going to be your search. So if you want to type in like um, periwinkle blue or something. Um, a little bit more obscure than that, chances are that may not work. So just use like red, blue, green, gold, yellow, purple, it's kind of the more standard one word colors, and you should not work. So we're doing this purely as a test to see if, um, if I right mouse click this tab and say move to other view, we can see both. Here we go. So what we want to be able to see is that if this document and this here is actually using this document to make it look a certain way, to do the styling. And CSS stands for cascading style sheet. So by cascading, what it means is it reads from top to bottom. So if I put in, if I duplicate this line and then said red, it would read this, do this, then read this and do that, and essentially I'd end up with a red background. And so it's whatever it reads last, it does. So that's kind of what the reference to cascading means. Um, right. So we need to save this, which is a really important step. So I've clicked onto my HTML page. And I've got File, Save As, and I'm just going to choose a location. Choose your desktop or just somewhere in your C drive, wherever you normally keep your folders. I've got a lot of, I've kind of got 26,000 files plus to keep track of, being a high school teacher. 
Um, so in my Google Drive, DTC and recording, I'm going to make a new folder. So up there, if you're wondering, there, make a new folder. I'm just going to call this um, Web Tutorial. Right, and so in there, we'll call this this one here, which is this document here we're referring to. It's going to be index.html. Okay, if you don't put that .html, it's not going to work. And no spaces in the names because it stops files from working with each other. I just get in the habit of doing everything lowercase um, unless it's got two words. And then I do the capital on the second word. Uh, the second word starts with the capital, which is referred to as camel case. Right, so we need to save this one. So I click on this document here, file, save as. So we want to save it right next to it, and we're going to call that styles, if you remember here, styles. CSS. So that's why we can say link, grab this file here, save. So if I go and um, open up that file, without having a like a you know back to the C drive like saying it's in this this link here, without having this link here to locate the file, and it just says styles.css, this document will go, it must be right in the same place where I'm saved. And so it will link and open each other. And we'll also make a new folder in there, we'll call this images, so that way whenever we want to use images, it'll be put in an images folder rather than kind of all mixed in with this stuff here. Right, so if we want to run this, we need to click on the HTML because that's a web document. This CSS, if we try and run it in a web page, it won't run, it'll just show the code because it's a styling document, it's actually not a web document. This one's the web document, so we click run, launch in Chrome and eventually we've got the color background show up so that means that link has worked so that's successful if we want to go back and test a change uh, red save it go back to it refresh it there and you can see that tab text there this goes in your tab this goes in your tab so we can, I can change this to tutorial save and then refresh it there you go, it's changed there. Um, and if I wanted to test that, um, reading it twice and seeing it comes out, save that and then repeat. There you go. So both lines are in there, but it only does the one it read last because it said I've done this and then it does that and it's the one it did last, so that's what you see last. Right, so that's kind of enough to do the first step of getting this document kind of talking and setting your files up because that's really the biggest first challenge to kind of get the ball rolling and then we'll do the next bits in the next videos.